Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to this quick and short Bitcoin price update brought to you by beincrypto.io. Here you can swap and also earn some passive income with the link in the video description. You can sign up to this website and as you can see you can lock here your cryptos especially Bitcoin and of course also their own token which is backed by British pounds and get very very high api so you can use the flexible savings or of course also the locked savings program to get even more cryptos so check it out all the links are in the video description if you want to sign up and now my friends let's dive here straight into the four hour time frame for bitcoin because what we have seen here in the last couple of hours was a little reaction rally and of course a little breather also because in the us they announced that the inflation rates is not that bad as expected but this doesn't change much currently we are still in our downtrend and as long as we don't have at least four hour candles and four hour closes above forty one thousand two hundred dollars we are still in our downtrend and there is still a high risk to fall below this support at around $39,400. This little pump that we have seen was overall in the crypto market and also in the stock market. Even here over on Nasdaq, you can see that we had a huge pump into the media line of the Kalsner channels in the four hour time frame. But as long as it's acting as a resistance, uh, there is no big reason to be very bullish right now so that's why stay calm my friends i think that we still need a lot of consolidation here to see in which direction we're moving to next and even though this little pump that we have seen here in the last couple of hours was a good sign uh, we're still in our downtrend not only here in nasdaq but of course also in the crypto market especially here over on bitcoin so what we want to see now is of course four hour closes above $41,300 and of course daily candles and daily closes within the Kaltner channels because if we would continue to have daily closes below the bottom of the Kaltner channels this in my opinion will most likely lead into a retest of $38,000 and if we would crash below then things will start to look extremely bad here for Bitcoin and we should then target the low 30s and probably at the end even the 20k area before we definitely bottom out and uh, gear up then for a complete new uh, bull run so far it is important that we have those daily closes within the Kaltner channels because if we would see daily closes below it then things can start to look extremely ugly so let's wait and see if we can close today at least above $39,500 then at least we have the chance for a nice reaction rally to maybe retest the new resistances up here at around $43,000 it will start to look extremely bearish if we would start here to lose this support at around $39,400 so let's wait and see where we're gonna close today because we are still in a very critical moment here and Bitcoin needs to recover as soon as possible back above the median line of the Kelton channels and of course back above the EMA ribbons at least in the daily time frame so back above $43,000 in order to have at least a chance for a nice continuation of this breakout that we initially had here above this huge resistance here at around $44,500. So this was just a quick and short Bitcoin price update, my friends. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel and check out all the referral links that you find in the video description because there you always get some extra bonus if you sign up with my links. So thank you again very much for watching and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.